Hello, internet friends. My name is Bay, and as I was just saying to the live chat, my hair is rather tall today. Normal blue shirt to match with the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Combat Simulator background, but I'm bad. A light commentary playthrough where I play through this entire game, much like a lot of previous other titles like Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, and Bloodborne, and both God of War, and both Jedi games, and Final Fantasy 16. And so if you want to watch other stuff, you may have already watched it if you're watching it live, but if you want to watch other stuff on YouTube, that's where the archive is. There's over 400, almost 500. When this series ends, I'll have made 500 videos in the But I'm Bad labeling, which is just a joke if you don't get it, because we beat all these games, but sometimes we're bad at them. Not everyone can be Dalfir, who one-shots almost every single encounter he ever fights in any video game, okay? Goodness. We're starting off with some... There's region intel level 2 for every zone, which I'm assuming is going to be just harder enemies. Let's go with the normal squad. The tried and true. The peanut butter and jelly sandwich of Final Fantasy 7. Mm. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, it's because it's going to be the special mobs. No holding back. Now, got you. I was just to move Tifa away. It's the same one. Yeah, this guy does not care about Cloud at all. Just does not care. Wow, that goes really fast now. Harder. Up. Like he had the tanky aura up the whole time. The normal bull does not. Oh! It's like a Gantoir. Would you like to fight it this time? Before it was just an Aerith's oh, minigame. Wow. It's 
automatically pressured when it unleashes needle rain. No weaknesses. Only resistant to gravity. We don't have that equipped right now, I don't think. Let's do this. Oh, shit. Goofy one. I see your question, R4. Make it through this combat sim. Oh, this is the special dragon. of that is so sporadic and wild. White Moose and two of the Amalgams. I think I take out the Amalgams first. Take the lead. You can do it. I got this. That's it. Let's do it. Hey! Ready! Too many abilities on Tifa. But she does, in fact, just exist. <laughs> Something interesting I've been noticing, too, about the, uh, the PS5 controller. When you're in combat, 
it's hard to see on camera because it's green. There are the green lights <clears throat> that light up. And when you're on a load screen, they turn off. Get him. Yeah, so it's pressure with ice and then hit it with fire. <clears throat> Keep it yeah. together. Can you take over over me? Let's go. Bring it. Bad. And if Tifa gets one more materia, pretty sure the Tifa build in Rebirth is way stronger than the remake version. So you're talking about the fact that unless you block the first hit of an enemy combo, you just have to take it. Uh, that is the same in this game too. So there's two different things. <clears throat> there are two different types of enemy combos that I've understood is that there are, like I was dealing with Odin, which I was having a problem with. So in the Odin fight, which spanned three different episodes, and I still, we got there. Spoiler alert if you haven't watched it, but I, I did a full might version of Odin because I wanted to challenge myself in the later game here. It definitely took some doing. But there are two types of combos. One, that if you block, or in this game, perfect block as well, then the hit ends. But if you don't do that, it's a combo move where they'll hit you multiple times. And in that combo, I have noticed that you can try timing additional perfect blocks only in Rebirth where you can perfect block multiple segments. I was doing this again with Odin on Cloud when I was getting charged. If you charge at the right interval, you can do his Punisher parry. Now it still hurts you, but you can do that three times during the charge's hitbox. You have to keep inputting the command though, based on some, you know, just feel, I guess, some, some tempo. So you can do that where you can, you get hit, combo, input the parry again, get hit, combo, etc. Then there are others, I guess, that if you just block the attack, it just stops what they're doing because it's either part of how that attack works or it's part of a a way to pressure certain enemies where they will not complete like a lot of bandit oriented stuff and enemies like that they'll just not care as well like the big the big tall buff bandit guy where he does like the punchy punchy thing if you block it he keeps going right but there are others that'll try to attack you that if you block them they just stop or bounce off of you or whatever so that's, I mean, in a way it still gives you more agency compared to like the original version of this game, which was full ATV, right? You input your commands and then just wait. If the enemy uses a combo hit on you, you just take the whole thing because you can't, right? It's just a call and response old game system. You input two or three commands on your party and then the enemy does the same thing and then you repeat. But in this, it's kind of like that. But you have to be, just be more engaged where you, you can counter enemy combos if you're not... A lot of the times you're doing something. Like my problem with Odin is that I was, when I was trying to do my Yuffie strat with Yuffie and Kate Sith and just keep him debuffed, every time I would go to use one of Yuffie's actual abilities, which has more of an animation, he would always throw his spear at me. Which I don't know if that's input reading or just poor timing on my part. Because so many times I'd be like, <clears throat> okay, here's a Foxfire window, throw spear. And you can't cancel out of your animations, so you get hit. 
And you can only get hit like two or three times on Odin. Otherwise, he does. He wipes your party. Are my trials not challenging enough? If there's anything else I can so, do for you, please there's, let me know. I'm always happy there's to definitely help. that action-oriented element where you are in charge of basically how much extra damage your team takes. Whereas in the originals, you you had no good nothing, right? You can't do anything about it because you just take damage. Okay, Rihanna. Now give me a look like you're ready to throw down. Yeah, a lot of bandit-oriented stuff when you're solo as Cloud, you just punish or counter everything. Oh, yeah. Just punish or counter and fire damage. Next, yeah. let's have you look over here. I still have to go back and finish my hard mode playthrough of Remake and Intermission, which I'll be probably doing after I do Rebirth. So I'm going to go Give Rebirth, let that sit for a while, really go back and finish brain. Remake, which is going to be like a step down in complexity in the combat system. So... But I want to finish that before I move on to Rebirth's hard mode. Because I just couldn't get it finished. I started to remake like a month okay. Rihanna, before Rebirth came no, out. Excuse me. I couldn't We're finish it. Here. Wait. Do you play Queen's Blood? You kind of look like you do. Oh my gosh. This is perfect. I'm Rihanna, an up and coming Hello. model. Hello. I'm actually yes. getting picks for a feature right now. And I was really hoping to nab one of me playing Queen's Blood. Mm -hmm. You literally couldn't have come at a better time. What do you say? Help a girl out? Sure. All right, we'll keep rolling with the tried and true here, even though I think I still should make a couple more adjustments. But my only adjustments I would be making is like the one drops, but I don't really think any other one drops would be good. I was thinking of spear hawking over the uh, security officers that could be a potential but everything else is like you have to debuff them and stuff what do amalgams do when destroyed yeah when allied cards are destroyed tifa is a win lane bonus red is the huge debuff one so many cards now. Dine is the yeah, lower the power of enemy cards. Now Dine could be a a splash, but I don't think in this deck though. Diabolic variant. Replace an ally, lower the power of ally and enemy cards and effective tiles while they replace ally's power. Okay. So the exact opposite of yin and yang. This one buffs. That one uh, nerfs. If they're interrupting your Punisher combos, then yeah, I think you should use fire on them. Because all humanoid enemies in in Remake, and I think even in Rebirth, are all weak to fire. Grab. running a similar loadout. Hmm. So far, yes. Hmm, interesting. block top lane. Being aggressive bot lane would be so... You know, I'm going to risk it. Yep. So I figured.
do a whole lot. Oh. Interesting force. Thank you. Why not? Doesn't really do anything effectively. Sorry, Rihanna. <laughs> Destroyed. Ah, uh, gross! That intense stare, that knitted brow, glistening perspiration, perfection! I've never seen you look more beautiful! And you, Mr. Card Sharp. Talk about a hunky diamond in the rough. Have you ever thought about becoming a model? <gasps> Mola, you're a genius. We could team up. Be a card slinging, catwalk strutting duo. Um. You and me, taking over the world. What do you say? No. Harsh. Whoa. <laughs> we'll be kicking it here for a bit if you change your mind. After all, a model's work is never done. Yes, it is. Once you hit 29, it's over. Usually, unfortunately, disgustingly, I don't know. Did this guy's reaction when he was like, I was just the animation of the table here, but he was like, <laughs> Must be nice to play QB while this is so good. I hope you have a great. Okay, we're back here. Place one of your cards with Yuffie to destroy it, enfeebling others around it, friend and foe alike. Choose your position wisely and ninja your way to victory. This just, uh,
It is indeed just that. These peas. Yeah, some of these I just see the pattern immediately. Others I'm just like... Kate Sith can summon his Moogle Pal to your hand when played. Put this powerful combination to work and prove you're the cat's meow. to your hand. I'll know what Moogle does, though. We want to put Loveless here. Hmm. Is it just this? just buffs above it. Yeah, I restart. This has to be played here, because they don't want to buff the enemy. Which means Dio goes here. go there. Or there. No, you can't go there. Bubbles has to go there.
I'm pretty sure this wins with the jockey, though. <clears throat> You need the you need the jockey played, or do you buff the enemy? No, it buffs the freed though. Maybe you do. No, well, they don't win the lane then. Let me just see what the math. So you don't want to buff. Okay. See, some of these like immediately take a whole different turn. How do you get? How do you get a three there? Now, how do you get a two somewhere now? Can't go there. Can't, can't put it there. I mean, this doesn't win the game. You need the jockey in the top lane. can't play Dio. Really? Buffing the enemy is the play? Okay. Buffing the enemy was the play. I think that's 40, 31. Okay. I always rule out trying to buff enemy cards because normally you lose. But, okay. Sid can summon his tiny Bronco to your hand when played. Soar into battle with this dynamic duo and watch the competition crash and burn. I wish it showed you the card it summoned. You can't see the card it summons. played have a tiny bronco in your hand that man is so so handsome
So he looks like the most value. Tiny Bronco. Raise ranks by two. Oh, so this. Clearly. Add positions in the shape of certain gold saucer attractions. Oh. See? Like... <laughs> then you blow it up. <laughs> so, some of these challenges are so easy. That tiny Bronco Sid combination is kind of nasty, though. It'd be good for a Shiva deck. The whole point of a Shiva deck is just to take board control and then drop Shiva and lock the board. Even though, I don't know how good it is at later stages because of the... Uh, Replacement cards. All right, Vincent. When Vincent is destroyed, he summons the Galleon Beast card to your hand. With this monster on your side, it won't be long before the competition joins the Marksman in Deep, Deep Slumber. Okay, so you use the two bats to blow Vincent up. He's a one drop that has a one up, one down, one forward. That's probably a replacement for the Shinra officer. Damn. Oh, interesting. can't play these first, so it has to be this, right? This is a when played, and he's a two. So, that. So then Vincent just goes here. Played, lower the power of allied and enemy cards affected by one. You're blowing up the magic pot with that. Think? Putting in the front wouldn't do anything. But it doesn't do anything. It debuffs the zoo. Vincent first. Okay. 
Kind of an anticlimactic use. A Galleon Beast being a two drop. It attacks an entire row ahead of it, or column. Pretty nuts. Oh, they're all done. Only have two skill drills left. Practice replacing other cards with the Grand Horn and Gigantoad to activate their skills upon destruction. Indeed. These are usually also pretty easy. Because it doesn't give you many spaces to place anything. I want to replace... Now we want to replace the top one first. We do want Quetzalcoatl to be here. And blow this guy up. This is so easy. <laughs> Again, all of these skill drills are supposed to show you specific deck synergies that you can put into your own decks. Some replaceable cards have the ability to transfer the power of destroyed cards to others. Yeah, Ying Yang, Griffin. I guess I should keep by maxing out your bloat fly's power, then replacing it with a Griffin to spread that power around. These are all introductory, because apparently the gold saucer. Gold Saucer Queen's Blood is going to be gross. Oh, it's just this. 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 These peas. <gasps> We're done with Queen's Blood and Cosa del Sol. <laughs> it's so much more. Vincent. Can't talk? No talk? Just gonna stand there looking awesome. Yep. <clears throat> Still standing there looking awesome. We have to have all these duels done before we go to the gold saucer anyway. Tour Costa Del Sol in style with our wheelies. Here we have one of We hope you enjoy your time at the Costa Del Sol. The Costa Del Sol Resort. Is there anyone out there who can rekindle my fighting spirit? Life of an NPC. Put on your clothes in the morning. You walk to a certain spot, you do a loop animation. I'm sick of running on the beach all day, every day. Ugh, I need to go around if I ever want to get out of this funk. This guy is owned. What are you looking at? You want a piece of me or something? <laughs> Easy now. I didn't mean it like that. No need to be so on edge. Name's Mahir, though some call me the child of the sun. I'm training to be a boxer. I've not been feeling it lately, so I'm trying other ways to motivate myself. Like Queen's Blood. I don't suppose you're up for a game? Yes. Raise the power of allied cards and affected tiles by three. This guy can literally only be played in the bot lane. Because if you've played mid lane or top lane, he does nothing. Very specific. Because remember, Queen's Blood lanes are only three, so the, the cards always show five. Okay. Uh, 
I didn't replace security officer with Vincent. Oops. That's fine. Debuff deck or disable deck. Only lane he can be played in. style points. Yep. Just a, you know, casual 42 to zero. such an intense game it was hotter than the sun enough to light a fire in my soul even i think i'm finally out of my funk and now i can get back to boxing thank you easy as that huh you're here first kids if you're in a funk with your current job or role in life just play a game of queen's blood get 42 to zeroed and then all your funk will be gone seeing you again soon please make yourself at home <laughs> we sincerely look forward to seeing you again soon That's everything here. Let's go to uh, North Corral and get that side quest, shall we? Same region, after all. Wouldn't recommend going out there. Like you got a death. No, I'll be. Y'all ain't gonna like you or mother.
the Dust Bowl Beast Battleground. Hmm. Sand and circuses. That's out here at the prison. Hair, my guy. Fires from all over come here for our monsters. You looking to play with some monsters? Probably not. Upstairs, right outside. It's my dream to be a caretaker of Derp. Oh. Hey, remember me? You're that. Hey, Leslie from Corneos. Uh. Leslie. What are you doing out here? You look like you've been through hell. Got wind my girl might be out this way. Had to follow up. See if there was truth to it. Mm. Well, you saw. After the plate fell, the trio opened the place to refugees. The town tripled in size. Man, if you thought it was lively before. Unfortunately, when Corneo pulled up stakes, he took all that Shinra money with him. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Walmart's days are numbered. Mm. Madame M's trying to work her magic, but I don't know. Mm. Sector 7's still a mess. Probably gonna stay that way for a while. Expressway collapsed right after the plate. Then out of the blue, the company decides it needs a new president. Seems pretty clear Shinra doesn't give a shit about Sector 7. Nope. Undercity especially. But that shouldn't come as a surprise. The people have stepped up though. Clearing the rubble, helping the injured, locating the missing. Hmm. In case I didn't tell you, her name's Merle. After you guys left Wall Market, I started asking around. Hoped one of her friends might know something. Shouldn't have bothered. Even if they did have info, they're not dumb. They wouldn't dare blab to a former Corneo crummy. But I was able to find out she wasn't in Midgar anymore. And ever since then, I've been moving from town to town, looking for leads. Hmm. So the thing is, Gus is running a special competition, and a woman is the prize. Gross. Word around the Dust Bowl is she fled here from Midgar. It's just a hunch, but I think she might be who I'm looking for. She's a prize? That's sick. Gus is a real piece of shit, to put it mildly. You do that? <laughs> Monsters did. Mm. Gus is calling it a party, but it's an excuse to see blood. Lots of it. He pits people against fiends, and his money's on the ladder. Yep. I lost. So this is where you guys come in. Join the party, win, and free that woman. Hmm. Still a merc, aren't you? No reason not to. True. Please. 
We'll do it. <laughs> so you know, you need a team of five to sign up. In the ring, though, it's one on one. <laughs> and humans only, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm counting on you, and so's the woman. If anyone can put Gus in his place, it's Walmart, it's reigning champs. Five 1v1s, huh? These people. They make Walmart's worst look like angels. So probably everyone but Aerith? She's not great in a 1v1. If you value your life, this place ain't. You want something, you take it. <laughs> well, now we go down and register. Okay. Are you familiar with the There's a bunch of people down here all of a sudden, what the heck? You here to join the party? Yes. Rounds, team members won. Oh. Is it... Oh, I see. It's all... So it's Cloud, Tifa, Aerith. Oh, and Aerith. Aerith, ha Aerith has to do one. And Yuffie. So no Kate Sith, no Red. Because they're not humans. Okay, that makes sense. But it's curated. of the fiercest, most ferocious fiends you have ever seen! This is it, folks. You're about to witness a brutal bloodbath of untold proportion. Let the shit hit the fan! This guy. Afraid of that. Time to put you on us. Just never ran a uh, heal on her because she has item synergy. give her something or just never get hit I guess my, my mission well, I can't not get hit by gravity since gravity is just going to hit me always welcome. just going to hit me
Take these items. jump on her so I remember that I changed her stuff. I sat here holding, but you know. Do the ice. All in a day's work. So it's Aerith versus Fireball, so bombs? Should put elemental material on her for fire if it's bombs. Noxious. Get him. Stop it. Sorry, but I gotta. Let's get serious. Stay strong and carry on. Just eye framing it. Someone looks kind of shaky. Yeah. Go on, get ready. Ah! 
I should get something Bahamut on them, that'd be kind of funny. Instead, and just blasted them, but a lot of interruptions because of all the and fireballs. Yeah. If you just swap elemental material to her for that and make her immune to fire, wouldn't get knocked over. Wind Sages for Barret. Owls? Large owls? Yep. Trying to time it. I'm coming for you. Not even a contest. <laughs> and don't come back. <laughs> Tifa. Undertaker. I don't know who that is. Oh. ATB. Charge attacks nasty. The blood stained jester.
Might be a unique fight. This is cloud. Oh. Woo! Who could have expected an upset like this? Cloud the Knife's team has made it to the finals. But playtime's over. This here's the real moment of truth. Are you ready? I want to hear some noise, people. Give it up for everyone's nightmare, the Murder Machine Supreme! No challengers have ever managed to beat this fearsome fiend. Does our Merc and his crew have what it takes to be the first? Will they be able to claim our darling little grand prize? Mm. You're about to find out, folks. This is the moment we've been waiting for. A desert awesome! <laughs> A joker. Too bad. That's unfortunately too weak to wind, because that's what Cloud has on his weapon. Evading Soul Sucker will force it to extract energy from itself, enter a pressured state. Once HP drops low enough, it goes berserk and will remain pressured. Let's do this. That's a magic attack on a melee one. Card mechanics. Right. Oh, okay. Whoops. That's quite the lunge. Ow. Still in. Here we go. Oh, man. Almost a hit scan ability. Shit. Ah. Let's also. No holding back. Okay. Sure, dude. Second wind. Let's do this. What? No holding back. Dude, the lunge on that is so annoying. How far away I am. Ain't dead yet. I feel like I'm far enough away to dodge left and right, Not and it just bad. goes like. Woo! <laughs> Cloud, my man! Way to give the people a show! Gotta say, never thought my little baby would get so thoroughly crushed. Do you have any idea how much kill I spent on that thing? You inconsiderate son of a bitch! Uh, it's done. It's all good. 
Gotta look to the future. Our future. What do you say? We'd make one hell of a team. We can clean up at the fights and the races. Come on, you know you wanna. No. No. <laughs> Don't do me like that. I'll throw in some perks on top. That should sweeten the deal, right? Where's the girl? Oh, so you really were after our little prize. You, sir, are a turn dog. X. Well, you're welcome to her. You earned it. Just as a little show of good faith. Go on, don't be shy. And then maybe think over that deal. Pretty please. <laughs> hey. Huh? Hello. Where did you come from, beautiful? You looking to get in good with the Gus man? Ooh. Don't ever pull this crap again. You offer any more people as prizes, they'll have to scrape you off my shoe. Got it? Oh. Yes, ma'am. He had that coming. Different girl. Mm -hmm. What? Was just a random tourist from Midgar. Fell for a scam at the saucer and ended up down here. I sent her back up. Made sure she's safe. Hmm. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't be. I'll find her eventually. I'm sure of it. Anyway, what's next for you and the others? We're looking for something, too. Need to find it ASAP. <laughs> Funny. Always the same story with us. Oh. Good luck to you. Thanks. And you. <laughs> See you, Leslie. Welcome to society's trash heap. Stop. Whoa, really? <laughs> Leslie's a pretty good egg. You just got wrapped up with the wrong crowd. Or forced into the wrong crowd. Really? A new Desert Rush challenge? Electric currents while destroying as many boxes as possible at the time limit. Each box broke will add to your score. In order to break gear boxes, blocking your path. Yep, hit the shock boxes, device a plan of attack. Use the hit activated elevator to move between floors. So you can't hit the electric currents. I'm assuming it stuns you. You lose a ton lose a bunch of time. 55k. Oh! A dark three dark matter. <laughs> the box crusher keychain. What does that do? The electric currents. Oh. Here we go. 
Oh, that's sneaky. Trying to be cheeky. Seems way more lenient, just way longer. Because you could get. there try this why can't I break this one it keeps getting the one I'm not supposed to break yet that's annoying okay so 
so after the third elevator section, there's still one more. I think I saw it, but I didn't know how to get to it. Okay, good, good first attempt. But you'd end here. you end here, but there was still more. Okay. Good first attempt. Go again. Nice one. That was pretty good. I don't know if prime mode matters in this challenge. I don't think it does. What am I get zapped by? Also, why is three time boxes giving me 10 seconds where one gives me five? And then here it comes. Up here. Aerial combo is actually really bad. I gotta restart. Getting stuck in the aerial co aerial combo is waste a lot of time. why one gives five but I guess the color
Behind me, was it? Yeah. So long. Sorry. Why aren't they facing that way? I can't get on. Wow, come on, man. Come on. Thousand points away. And look what's sitting in front of me. Okay. Well. Close. <laughs> See if you can do even better next time. Lame. If you've been watching live, hope you've been enjoying it. If you've watching on YouTube, thank you very much. There's also a ton of other playlists if you want to watch those, like Dark Souls and Final Fantasy 16, both God of War games, both Jedi games, the, uh, lots of 14, obviously 7 Remake and the Intermission stuff. I'm going to kick this one off on the next one. Mostly because I need to go take a bio break. And I've uh, been recording for long enough for this chunk. So I'll see you on the next one. I did definitely get stuck on those damn elevators. Also, I turned around even though I was holding forward toward the box. And then Cloud's like, I'm going to turn that way. I don't know. <laughs>